I came home from work early March and I immediately go to take the dogs out. I turned back and went on the way back for some reason. I fell to the ground and um, I tried to get back up but I couldn't get back up and I couldn't understand why I couldn't get back up. And no matter how hard I would try, I just couldn't do it. I wasn't in any pain and I just didn't know what was happening. I didn't even realise I was paralysed from the, the right hand, my right hand side. At some point I managed to get the phone out of my inside pocket with my left hand. No matter how hard I tried to use that phone, I could not use it. And I was wondering, contemplating what was happening. And the next thing, uh, a man came by and uh, he said, are you OK? And I said, I'm not OK, can you phone my partner? I was speaking to gobbledygook as if I'm drunk. But I didn't realise that, according to me, I'm speaking English. A woman came out, she must have heard the commotion with the dogs. If I remember right, it was the woman phoned an ambulance because she suspected I had a broken leg. Might have been because I didn't have any movement, but I never realised I had a stroke. If you suspect a stroke, use the FAST test to identify it. Face. Is there weakness on one side of their face? Can you raise both of your arms for me? Arms. Can they raise both arms? That's it. Put it down. Tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> speech. Is their speech easily understood? Time to call 999. Ambulance, please. I think he's having a stroke. Reassure them while you wait for help to arrive. Don't worry. Help us on the way. They'll be here soon. At the time of the incident, my then partner Melanie came out looking for me. And she suspected, due to the symptoms I was displaying, that I'd had a stroke. She phoned the ambulance immediately and told him that I hadn't had to, got a broken leg but I, what's actually happened, I've had a stroke and the ambulance came within two minutes I would say and I think it's extremely important that people should know the signs and symptoms of having a stroke because you need to act quick the longer you wait the more damage it does <laughs> 